Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make pretzels. Now I did this and I posted a picture on Twitter probably a couple of months ago now and I got so many people asking me to show you how to make them. So I'm going to show you today. I have my glamorous assistant, Miss Glamorazzi, standing behind the camera. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> and if you want to see how to make pretzels then keep watching. Okay, so I have already sifted in the strong white flour and the strong brown flour into a mixing bowl. And I am then going to put one teaspoon of fast acting yeast into that mixture and then I'm going to add two tablespoons of light brown um, soft sugar, which is kind of stuck together here. <laughs> so two tablespoons of that. Ben's good. And then one teaspoon of salt, like that. And then I'm just going to mix those together in the bowl kind of loosely. Okay, and then we have our warm water and I'm just going to mix in one tablespoon of vegetable oil into that water and just use a spoon to mix that in. And then once we've done that, I'm going to be using a food mixer with dough hooks, which looks like this. Demonstration. Oh, no. And then I'm going to just slowly start introducing the water into the dry mixture. And then using the dough hooks, just mix this in, adding more water kind of as you go along. Okay, so once you have the dough, it's going to stick in the hooks like this. Yum. Um, we just want to make sure you have clean hands as well before you do this. So just kind of fold this in on itself, make sure it's not too gooey. And then we're going to switch to um, a flat surface. Make sure that the, you have enough flour on the surface so it doesn't stick. And then just kind of like push it away and then fold it back in. Um, I'm really not very pro at this, but you know, we'll, it'll do. It'll yeah. do for now. <laughs> Hopefully, there aren't any professionals watching. Yeah, let's hope. Let's hope the sorted food boys are not watching this. <laughs> I know. But let's face it, I don't think they've done pretzels, so you know, come on. Maybe boys. they can learn something. Yeah. So you want to keep on doing this for? I know this sounds bad, but ten minutes. Ooh, that's a workout. Yeah, serious workout. So once you've done that hard work. Um, you're going to be left with a kind of smooth dough, and then it springs back when you. It looks like a face. Dent in it. Yeah, it looks uh, like a we can make a face. <laughs> okay, so we have this little man here, and it springs back when you like lightly touch it slowly. His not cheeks. when you, obviously when you go like that, so you're like boy. So yeah, his cheeks. We can add a little bit of a smiley face. Okay, so we have our dough man. <laughs> it looks like Ninja Turtle. <laughs> Um, okay, and then we are just going to put this in a bowl. We've got a little bit of oil in the bottom of the bowl um, just to oil the dough so that it doesn't stick to the bowl. So I'm just going to put that in there and turn it around a few times just to coat the dough in oil. So we're just going to cling film this and then we're going to leave it in, if I can break the cling film, and then we're going to leave it in a warm kind of draft free place for an hour to three hours depending on how much time you have. I usually leave it um, an hour. If I'm going out, I'll just leave it for a few hours and it will have risen, hopefully. So we will be back in one to three hours. Okay, so this has been sitting for about an hour and a half. As you can see, it has grown. We're just going to take the cling film off and just pull this out of here and it's kind of puffy because all the yeast has made it rough. We're going to pop it onto a flat surface with some flour just so that the oil isn't sticky. And what we're going to do now is just divide this into kind of, we can roll it around a little bit just to get the flour on. Um, and we're going to divide this into ten smaller balls. Um, and each one should be kind of fist size. Once you've done each one you just want to put it underneath um, a tea towel or a cloth just to stop the air getting to it. Okay, so there are our little balls under there. And we just want to make sure the work surface is kind of floured so that nothing sticks. And we're going to start to roll the ball into a kind, kind of snake shape like this. And you want to make it as thin as you can, really. I mean, ideally it would be um, maybe like two pencils thick, but it tends to do this. Like spring Shrink. back. Yeah. Shrink-tastic. Shrink-tastic. And this one's not going to be very even, but hey, you know, handmade. That's <laughs> what we're going for. Rustic. So here we go with our long snake. And we just want to bring it around like this, twist it, Twist it once more, 
bring this round and then just flip that center over and then just kind of stretch it out. Oh, that looks good. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Ingrid. It does. <laughs> and then we want to take a little bit of water. I conveniently have my tap right there and just um, wet this here so that the ends stick on to the main body of the pretzel. And you're good to go. Put these onto some baking trays that are already lined with parchment. So um, I'm going to do all these and then we'll be back. Here are our pretzels. I think we did a pretty good job. Okay, so whilst we're waiting for this to come to the boil, we're just going to make a little bit of um, cinnamon sugar topping for the pretzels. This is boiling pretty fast now, so I'm going to do this quickly. I'm going to take just a spoonful of butter here, and um, we just want to melt that butter. Okay, so once that's done, we're just going to take it off the heat. We are going to take another spoon, and we're going to add a tablespoon of honey, and just mix that in. And once that's done, we are going to add tablespoon of sugar. This is just caster sugar. Like that. And then we're going to add a teaspoon of cinnamon, ground cinnamon. Like so. Mmm, smells good. I love cinnamon. I love cinnamon too. And then mix that in. And then we have the cinnamon glaze for when the pretzels are done. Okay. So at the moment we've got a litre of water on the boil with 75 grams of bicarbonate of soda. And this is just simmering away on the heat, it's kind of like medium heat, it's just simmering. And we're going to pop three pretzels, if they'll fit, into this pan here. And you can just drop them in, they'll keep their shape. I think we're going to do two at a time actually, I don't think there's space for three. Just take the spoon and then just gently flip the pretzel over. And you can see they're kind of smoothed out. And this is what gives them that kind of sour taste, you know, that kind of, how would you describe it, like the bitter mm -hmm, yeah. taste of pretzels. So we're going to leave them for another 30 seconds, pick the first one up, wait for it to kind of drain the excess water off there, and as you can see they kind of look a bit bloated, but they won't look like that when they're finished. And then put that back onto the baking sheet and then just kind of gently reshape it. And they change colour too. Okay, so these are the pretzels once they have been boiled in the bicarbonate soda. What we're going to do now is add a little bit of flavouring. Now, I'm going to do um, three different flavours. I'm going to do I'm going to do them all on this tray just to make it easier. I'm going to do one kind of original salted one. I'm going to do one sesame, and then two of them are going to be the cinnamon sugar. So, for the first two, what you want to do is just take a little bit of butter on some baking parchment, and I'm just going to um, just wipe a little bit of the butter onto the pretzel here, now it should melt because these are still warm, so just so that the salt and the sesame seeds have got something to stick to. And then once I've done that, I'm just going to sprinkle a few sesame seeds on one. You can do this after um, you've baked them, but I like to do it before just so that they get nice and kind of golden brown. Depending on how many you like, you can add those. And then I'm going to use some rock salt, it's just kind of natural rock salt, whatever you want to use, and sprinkle this on. And you want to use quite a lot. Pretzels are not good in the salt department, but um, a lot of this actually will fall off when you pick them off the parchment, so um, add more rather than less, because they will, it will fall off. Okay, so once you've done those, we're going to pop this in the oven. It's going to stay in the oven for 8 to 10 minutes, depending on kind of what they look like. So keep an eye out. After 5 minutes, just keep an eye on what they look like. Okay, so out of the oven, these are the pretzels. We have the sesame, salt, and then I'm just going to add a little bit of the sugar cinnamon glaze. Okay, so they're the pretzels, and I'm going to just get them off the parchment now, and we're going to have a try. Yum! Okay, so these are the three finished pretzels. I think we're going to try the cinnamon one. That's my favourite. Yeah. Looks pretty good. It's good. <laughs> I have to go have a ginger as well. <laughs> well, should we transfer here? <laughs> good? Oh. Mm -hmm. They're soft. I like them. Mm. Fluffy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that was my pretzel recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys try it, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye! Pretzel-tastic. Ta-da!